this PL <laughs> on his place because he wouldn't let me alone to talk to the, <laughs> the person at the hospital. I'm like, okay. And Sanders not sure why you need to have, pay so much attention to the phone when he is or right any, there. Exactly. No. <laughs> Um, so we actually got uh, Simon uh, logged in via, via VNC, so it worked. Um, oh, let good. me share my screen. Oh, yeah. I'd like to try it for sure. Yeah, let's try it for sure. Uh, so it's recording. So this is me logged into VNC, and uh, I typed this part, and Simon typed that part. All right. So I just open up the Finder. Open up Finder, and then uh, Apple K, Command K. Apple K. And then type in vnc colon slash slash vnc dot wiki. vnc colon slash slash vnc dot massive dot wiki. Yep. Woo. Screen sharing requires a password to sign uh, in. So the password today is social justice, all one word. And hopefully you can see Obsidian and Simon typing. Oh, and then and, and you're Aha! typing. <laughs> yeah, no, you so I think we'll have a, a, a few minutes of confusion where we're used to seeing screen shares on Zoom and you can't interact with them. So when you're when the VNC window has a focus, we all have control of this computer at the same time. So if two or three of us are moving the mouse at the same time, you know, it'll it'll pull the mouse movements and interlace them and stuff like that. So in the olden days, when we used to do this, uh, we would take notes together um, and you, you end up, I don't even know how this works, but I'm sure it's gonna happen again if we play with this for just a little bit. Um, somebody's typing, somebody starts typing and you go, you know, your brain registers, okay, they've got the, the keyboard and then they pause for a little bit and you want to change something. And usually, I don't know, you just say something like, you know, I don't know, here, let me type or, you know, a, a lot of times after a while, we kind of got just hearing each other breathing and stuff like that. We could kind of switch, um, uh, you know, even better, Simon. So let me do it right now. Um, uh, hang on, let me type if that's okay. Um, so you see there, there was a little bit of a thing where I was typing and you were typing or I was moving the mouse. And so I'm gonna do it like this instead. And uh, It looks like a great That's website, great. HTTPS colon W. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I stopped them in the middle. Um, so Simon, there's, I, I think we're all pretty good with Markdown, so we don't care too much about having the, the um, rendered view of this where this is actually a link. Uh, when it's in edit mode, if you do on Windows, it's uh, control click. I'm just going to click on that. So then we have a convention. Uh, recommended convention in massive wiki that the first h1 uh, is the same as the this is the file name and so we put a h1 that's the same as the file name by convention i can explain why someday but but now you could put a link to um uh, that makes total sense you don't need to explain that <laughs> <laughs> well i, I will I'll have to explain it to myself but yeah well i will say because in my own little massive wiki where i'm doing things i have to play catch up when i say things in git journal sometimes yeah it's it's the git journal thing really and i don't mind doing that but then sometimes i've got the file name and i put in the h1 but then i want to add another little thing like a parenthesis a little more information about this actual you know note than with me in the file name so my bad I, I maybe i'll just put it under there with a hyphen or something just to have it you know what i mean Ooh, I wonder if it goes. Yeah. can we call you isaac sorry <laughs> 
That's a man. Yeah, right. <laughs> Um, Simon G. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, in in my dialect, Simon, this as would be by, um, but I'll bet it's as in your dialect. Um, okay. Yeah. Is that true? Or? Yeah. 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 British. Yeah. So another another British American yeah. difference. I didn't know. I didn't see no, it as well. I didn't I think it was like far, well. no. I I know what you're saying, Pete, but it doesn't seem to make that much of a difference to me when I either read it either way. I for me that's like really odd looking. <laughs> hmm. Um I'm gonna stop. I guess I was I was gonna stop the screen share because you guys don't really need to see it, but but we wanna no. record it so so the funniest thing now i've been keeping notes about these little medical things when i get calls from people and in markdown format and it, yeah, sometimes i just use text edit I just yeah <laughs> yeah start typing while they're talking once you get used to it, it's, um, I've, I've got a preference, a little bit of a preference for this. For what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> but, but actually the way I would really do it in, in my wiki dialect is, um, uh, I, I probably would have done it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I can do, I can do it the other round. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would have done um, it like this. I haven't. I haven't. I, this is. This is just. It's not thought. Thought that. No. 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 This is just. Oh yeah. 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 We're we're playing around, and it's yeah, well. Yeah, this yeah. is the other thing that that we used to do in in the wiki world was like kind of negotiate. You know what? How you would say things. That's that's better. That's really good. Um, but then what I would do on top of that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Um, so the the thing that we used to do a lot in wikis was uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, we would talk about ourselves in the third person, more or less. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, right. Okay. Mm. That's where Trump got it from. <laughs> He's really a wiki person at heart. See, I think there should be another British band if a George generation called the Lynx rather than the Kinks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think of some kind of pseudo comic thermodynamic thing that has a band called Maxwell's Demons. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. You know, I can't, I'm like, I need more. You'd cool, have to uh, go somewhere else now. Let's, let's, oh, what is this? I mean, now where's a good place for me to link to back to somewhere? Uh, good, good point. Um, uh, and let me tell you a little story before we actually yeah, like yeah. edit anything. Um, uh, in the past couple of weeks, um, we I, I've decided that we've been doing a uh, uh, we've been in sin. We've been wikiing in sin um, because it's so easy. Uh, um, it's so easy to have this file explorer over here. Um, and uh, so, so uh, actually let me grab, um, so your, your page got created, you know, in yeah, cool. regular namespace. Um, usually what we would do is drag it up to here and put it in people. Oh, nice, of course, yeah. But 
an artifact of using this file explorer as a way of managing your pages is that you don't link as much as you should. <laughs> Uh, so um, we should definitely have a convention of linking. I, I've I've started to tell Wendy. Is there a people index? There is not a people index. Ah, and well, maybe there should even, be a people index. Even kind of more bad. There's um, there's not a good convention for having an index page of a directory. Um, so what oh. I was going to do was go to the home page. There is a convention of the, the home page is named README in massive wikis um, because because Markdown and GitHub and stuff like that. So we could start just a, a section on this page, which is kind of like the home page. Um, oh, it's called README, but it's called Conversations. Yeah, oh. yeah. README. The file name is is important here, and this is the Conversations wiki or something. I would actually call this the wiki. This is one place where you can break the rule, and I'm okay with it. I, if we'll have to see how that looks in Git Journal. Um, so you put a note saying underneath saying readme. <laughs> what's that? Also called readme. You could say alias readme. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's very interesting actually how conventions. You know, like I, I noticed this even on the. Um, even on the um, PP Foundation wiki, Michelle yep. Bowens has, has a subtly different set of conventions to Wikipedia, which he's very picky yeah. about. You know, like yeah. he, uses, he uses his title case for his page names instead of just uh, sentence case. And, 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 I'm going to put myself here, even though I don't know. So I do have a page, but it's not in the people directory. Why? I don't even know where it is. Uh, so if so, I'm going to hold control and click on this. Oh, it wasn't created yet. That's fine. Ah, right. Okay. I thought, oh, you know what it did? It was it was auto completing. I don't it, I don't know how much you've played with. Uh, so I can go back up here. Um, uh, I don't know how much you've played with um, Massive Wiki, but it'll, when you start typing links, it'll auto-complete it. And what it was doing, Obsidian has this really nice thing where even if the page isn't created, if there's a link to it, it knows there's a link to it and it will auto-complete the link. That's so that's nice. what it was that's doing. Nice. Yeah. So just FYI, um, the one thing I did since our last conversation about really trying to I mean, I'm just like some newbie in the wiki world here, even though I've been messing around with it for whatever, 20 years. I decided to start putting more links in my page of notes about naming, chunking, linking. Yep. So I've been writing along and I wanted to reference, give you a hat tip. So I just put the, you know, it was just, it was, so I'm trying to just establish that practice, which I think will really help me make some kind of connected thing. Um, uh, that's awesome. I'm, I, it was I'm, fun actually to just think this. So I'm just, all right, I'm making notes. What am I talking about? Oh, here's the thing I want to either talk about in the future or like, you know, so I'm going to create a, whatever, something for it. Uh, so I guess I will, thanks. What was, what, what is, uh... Obsidian do to double dashes? Does it turn them into M, N dashes or N M dashes? Uh, I don't think it does anything. In that case, I'm going to change it into an M dash. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can. Oh, no. Ah, no, it didn't. Ah, it didn't do shortcuts. It said uh, enable shortcuts, right? Enable shortcuts, right? Just... Uh, uh, Obsidian it. shortcuts or? No, okay. Windows oh, yeah. shortcuts. Yeah, you know, I tried to use it. A... Uh, 
No, my keyboard. Oh, no, it doesn't do that. Okay, fine. Oh. No, it's not. Now, the, the last time I was in this VNC window, I tried to do a command tab to move among my Mac windows, and it didn't do it. And I'm like, wait, uh oh, I gotta unmute, move the mouse, and click. Yeah, yeah. So I can get to this window from my Mac, but it's like a Hotel California, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think there's a way around that. I used to, I, I'm pretty sure there's a hack you can do to get yeah, no, around that. It's no biggie. It's, it was kind of funny for me. Um, another thing you can do with Obsidian is open. It's, it's actually got really good pain um, management. Uh, you can split the panes all different ways and move them around even and things like that. Um, uh, super nice, Bill. I think you're the one who's who's written the most about this so far. Well, I'm just trying to get something down for myself that I think, because otherwise the conversations are always, what are we talking about? What happens if I maximize the window here like that? Oh, It'll be nice. like that. Oh, so yeah. I I I apologize that the screen is so small. Um, I didn't. <laughs> didn't Actually, get it far looks enough. pretty. It's a pretty how good size you, window on my how you, Mac. It is. How, how do you affect, affect that? I mean, I've got a nice. I've got a nice. Uh, uh, whatever it's called, QHD screen, but it's kind of like. Um, so you, you're reasonably familiar with Windows, maybe Simon. I knew it a bit. So down here are the are servicey kinds of things, oh, yeah, and right. um, this is this the server uh, interface. That uh, it's actually a Windows service. Um, so you would think, well, actually, I guess maybe you wouldn't think. Um, it actually makes total sense why it doesn't have a thing in here. Um, but anyway, I, I was going through here in desperation looking for screen size and it's not in here. The reason it's not in here is because uh, you actually set it at runtime, not at... Uh, um, so then there's... Um, this won't work because... I don't know. I don't know why it failed to connect to. What? I don't know because yeah. it's running. But um, this is the. I think if I close the service down, I can you know change these settings and then open the service. But so it so still doesn't I, have. So if I'm attached to your desktop, does that mean I can click? I can click your desktop icons to actually do something. I mean, like, yeah, like, this is a whole computer, and and we all have oh, this okay. keyboard and mouse on it. Oh, okay. So okay. at the same time. At the same time, yeah. Right. yeah. So, so, there's... so anybody can completely mess up what you're doing. Correct. <laughs> it's okay, it's more right. fun that way, yeah. yeah. It, fortunately, know, wanted... fortunately, I'm using Obsidian, and I have this vault on my own home computer here, so I could like <laughs> not yeah. necessarily accept the changes. Obsidian. Oh, I actually closed it. I forget on Windows when you close a window. Uh, oh. Up here at the left. Um, up here Come is where you want to click. Ah, right. Now, what I was, ah, where do I get back to? Where do I get back to? Uh... Minimize the window or? No, no, the back, back to the, back to the, what? The read. The, 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 yeah, the read me. Where was um, there's, there's two things you can do. One of them uh -huh. is if you, we just went back a ways, oh, it would probably back. get to the right okay. place. But the, the real thing to do is probably to find it in the. Oh. What was that? I didn't do that. Oh, uh, the fold thing. Ah, yeah, yeah. Icons yeah. right over here. Yeah. Okay. Right. Collapse. So Collapse. Obsidian has this nice interface for power users, and it's it's Ooh. a little bit hard to pick up at the beginning. Like many things. Yeah. I mean, seriously. Yeah. Actually, things like that are are good. Um, so but get rid of my get rid of my uh, new folders. <laughs> to read. Get rid of my entire folders. No, but I was just thinking the conversations page itself. I mean, it says what the massive it, it, it says, but it doesn't say what the page is. 
So it's kind of uh, it's README. And and actually the yeah, way that the page README doesn't say it's README. That's the point. It doesn't say conversations. Yeah. I well uh, it's, it's describing the wiki. It's 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 like oh, right, okay. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Right. I, I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, th there's a uh, there's a web version of this, a static web version of this. I'm going to open Chrome, okay. and uh, okay. if I go to conversations. Knowledge Commons. I think that's right. Mm. So, um, so, that on a so here's that H one. So. Oh, if this okay. says read me, it's a little bit confusing. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't, I mean, you can do that, but I mean, you just have to, you just have to have a description of what the page is. I mean, because you see, you've got, a, you've got a page saying what the wiki is about, but you haven't said what the page is about. You haven't said this is, a, this is the read me about the wiki. Yeah. Um, about the wiki called conversations. It's so, so it's it's missing it's missing a kind of level of semantic yeah. kind of consistency. Yeah, um, that gets at least in my head. This is easy for me to say because I came up with the convention and I'm imposing it on everyone. For me, that gets collapsed. Um, so so let me show you a different view of this wiki. Um, That's always the problem. Refer to my old, refer to my PhD. Like everybody does complex tasks in their own way, you know, and that's yeah. why there's so much confusion because you do it your own way because you do your own shortcuts and collapse. You you do your own. Well, thing. this one, and that's this one never is a good it, thing for collaboration. This one is is not just my preference. There's actually a reason for it, and maybe ah. the reason is crazy. But there's yeah. actually a, a reason for it. So right. if I go to, I, are you a software developer and you use GitHub mm, or not at all? Not really. I mean, I've, I, I know about GitHub, but I've never really used it. So yeah. GitHub has tons of, of repos, right? Um, yeah. uh, and this is the front page of the we repo. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got a list of some of the files. I don't know. I don't think it will ever have all of the files. Yeah, yeah. It's but, convention to have read me. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It has a convention of README, yeah, right? I understand that. Yes, yes. So, so then, it makes sense to me, <laughs> and and I think we're going to we we're not doing this yet with massive wiki users. We're not really yeah. using GitHub, but but at some day there's going to be um, GitHub uh, mm -hmm. collaboration, as well as Obsidian based collaboration, um, yeah, with yeah. pull requests yeah. and issues and Good you know thing. things yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. So. So it makes sense that that the index page is called README, and then by convention, it doesn't make too much sense to have this H one be README. It makes more sense to have it be the name of the wiki. No, especially but when... what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, um, under conversation, the first sentence could be, "This is the README page about the wiki called Conversations." <laughs> that would now that actually does it. But you can call it conversation, sure. I'm going to call it conversation. Uh, so like this, right? And, and call, get, put the H1 back to conversations. OK. Yeah, no, I, I think that's a good idea. Um, uh, just, can I, I know it's like conversations. Just, wiki, semantic consistency. That... It's just like trying, trying, to get, trying to get on the level for everybody. Yeah, 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 totally fair. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, so now let me wordsmith this a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now let's just for the heck of it, let's try um, committing this stuff. And I think it's going to work. I don't see why it wouldn't work. And uh, 30, or, 30 or 45 seconds later, the website will be updated. So this is the old. And what, was, the, what was the website? Conversations, knowledge, common stuff. Okay. Right yep. And you and I talked a little bit, Simon. I, I happen to register knowledge knowledgecommons.wiki with the intent that it would be a wiki farm. Um, so this is something that I I don't mean to hog the knowledge commons dot wiki. Right, kind right. Of. But it's nice, nice. Okay, it's good, it's good. So we should make great. 
yeah. It, everybody should make more wikis um, in the yes, subdomain yes, here. Yes, yes. Um, I, mean, I, I could I could have living dot knowledge commons dot wiki. Yeah, I'm absolutely yes. Yeah. Right, sure. Um. So to nice Rooms, to yeah. sync this, I'm just going to do Control U. Mm -hmm. uh, and that totally failed. Um, because so <laughs> Control Z. And that totally failed. I'm going to do shift control Z and see how far away I can get. OK, <sighs> back to reality. Do you have the um, hotkeys set up here? It's, it's actually alt. Um, I set up the, the, the hotkey up as control. I, uh, Simon, Bill, and I, yeah. and most of, most of us are on Macs. And so it would be command U and command L. Um, yeah, so then I, yeah. I set it up con control. And then I'm like, oh, no, 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 Pete, don't do that. It should be alt. On Windows. Okay, so oh, Alt U yes. or push. Didn't do anything. Mm. That made a cool character. <laughs> I, that happens in for me in Emacs all the time. I make a mistake of it. Oh look, I got pie or I got some other I'm like. Can, okay, can let's. You copy, can you copy paste into it? You probably can't copy paste into. Uh, it does. Stuff. The 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 VNC clients and servers actually. Uh, we'll do it for you, yeah. Typically, you can turn that on and off and stuff, but uh, okay, let's see. I don't think I messed this up. See, all you. Um, yeah. I don't know if you've noticed, Bill, that the, in the recent versions of Obsidian Git, they've they've got more commands and they're, they're, this one is, the name has changed a little bit. I haven't looked. I've just been doing my thing, so. <laughs> um, you got maybe better, I should, time, maybe I should to do update. With your time. Maybe some somebody, some brave person is going to have to go in and figure out what all these these things are. Initialize a new repo. List change. Oh, I don't know. Oh yeah, we're going to have to fix our. our okay, so let me try one more time. Um, Alt U. Yeah, because it's still showing the the, the say that. The static web page is still showing the old page. Yeah. I we haven't been able to push it um, to so get push it. So yet. what are you pushing? Wait, so sorry about that. I just did something bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> so what I are think... you pushing from where to where? Um, so the files that we edited yeah. um, uh, are on this computer. Right. Okay. And we're going to push it into the GitHub repo. And then oh, okay. there's a there's a commit hook on the GitHub repo that calls the generator. Um, but, and usually I'm, I'm a little bit surprised that I can't do alt. I'm gonna try it one more time. Actually, maybe I'll try alt L and see what happens. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a sort of alt oh, yeah, okay. okay. Get, lo get logic symbols, it's perfect, man. <laughs> uh, so then I think we can do the command palette here and I'm just gonna try that. Um, mm -hmm. Back up a specified message. So I don't know how we're going to get around that alt thing, but whatever. Um, yeah, it used to work when we were using control, it would work in Windows. At least it uh, works okay. for me. So maybe, maybe I just need to switch it to control. I don't um, know. Then I don't know was, what happens on, ooh, that, you know, that looks good. Linux or OpenBSD or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so you need to wait for the pushed one. Committed isn't committed is one of the oh, steps okay. in the Git oh, okay. handshake. Um, so, but it did push. So now, after you know, 20, 30, 50 seconds, um, this will update. Um, I will refresh it, and I don't expect it to be changed yet. Right. Um, no. But if it we takes a little, while, it takes a little while, man. You know, yeah, it takes a little while. Got stuff to do. Yep, it's, it's refreshed on mine. It's there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Very good. So this is a, a bug in or a feature maybe. Um, there's, there's a feature slash bug in the um, static site generator. Uh, since these things are in a subdirectory. Uh, uh -huh. To actually get these links to work, we would have to put the directory path in the link. Um, right. uh, Obsidian 
um, does a, a neat thing where it just resolves the link no matter what. It doesn't care. Um, uh, yeah. As long as it's in, the, if it's in the vault, it'll be like resolved. Too clever. Um, yeah. Which, yeah, which leads to the question, what if there's two pages named Peter Kaminsky in different parts of the, the yeah, directory yeah, hierarchy? Yeah. It just picks a random one or the first one in the list or whatever. Well, that's too, too clever. Definitely. <laughs> um, so while we're talking about this, and maybe since we're recording, let me make sure that um, that is that bug is uh, logged because it's one I kind of want to fix. Yeah, this is the what we call the long links issue. Yeah, yeah, probably. Wow, eleven issues. I haven't been playing with this for a while. Uh, uh, it's not in here, is it? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, sorry to hold this up, but <laughs> now we have to. Uh, I, I thought it was in here, but I guess it's not. Um, Wikilinks is better. Yeah. So I've gotten completely stymied on trying to move forward with my Python stuff to deal with uh, getting messages because now I have to learn all about Python classes, which is <laughs> <laughs> proving time consuming. <laughs> um, we should. <laughs> Uh, well, actually, I don't know how much I can help on classes. But... No, I'll just send you a little note. I have an outline of what I want to do, and I just, you'll tell me if that's like a reasonable, you know, design or something. Um, is it, does it happen to be for the input stuff or? No, no, I'm not worried about the input. It's more like once I gather up the information, it's only used for one purpose in that actual in the main program when it does the work and it, your suggestion was why don't you put that stuff somewhere gotcha like maybe yeah. in a class and then if you needed to go back and say oh, i have to go back to that list of users and do something you could just it would already be there yep and it yep. wouldn't just be sitting as a variable in the in the main loop which yep. really looks as that's really bad programming style. Um, getting the um, getting the class stuff going would be um, getting what? Uh, getting the class stuff going. Um, that would be just, it's that would be a useful thing for. You know, can I just I go back to this. Go back to this directory uh, links yep. and stuff. Like, um, seems to me the most transparent way of doing it would be if it's not in whatever directory you are at the moment. A list of things comes up saying where it is. It doesn't it? Doesn't I mean taking it straight there is confusing. It's kind of like it takes you out of context, which is always a bad thing, I think, in a user interface. Um, changing context, quietly changing context is is a no no. I think to me. Um, uh, I'm not sure. I say that again. So for or... example, well, I mean, go 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 back to what you're saying. If there are two Peter Kaminsky pages, yeah, if there were in yeah. different places then what it should do is it should say, which do you want? There are two pages, this one and this one. Um, I think. Yeah, I agree. And, and uh, well, I think, I don't know what it should do. I'm, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of saying from my user interface intuition, that's all. I mean, that's, that's the only should there. And, and so I think even for one page, if it's not where, I don't know, I mean, you could, can you give it a link? Can you give it a link? Uh, can, can I put? Um, yeah, yeah. I think you, you could put a long, longer path. Do I here. just do that kind of thing? Do I? Just, does that work? Um, it would probably work. I might want to cap p there, and then, and then I've let's let's try it. Um, if you, I'll click on this. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that'll work. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I've done to fix oh, some stuff yeah, in my it, own wiki. Right. Okay. Yeah, it did work. Okay. Um, it did work. So, okay. um, so the other thing that you can do there. Um, yeah, yeah. You 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 can put them. The, 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 yeah. Right. No problem. Yeah. And I always forget if it's on this side or. 
or not. Oh, so I'm just going to try it. Yeah, yeah. Control E. So now it looks like Simon Grant, but it actually links to people slash oh, Simon Grant. Cool. Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, that's a lot of. Uh... It's it's pretty ugly and not civilian friendly. Um, so I I have a. Um, I have a notional uh, replacement for Obsidian. Um, this, Obsidian is somebody else's software. It's third party, yeah. you know, it's, yeah. um, and they're doing their own thing and they're doing it really well. Um, but I wish it worked differently for some things. Um, I wish it were had a simpler interface for, for new users. Um, and then exactly yeah. if there were multiple Peter Kaminsky pages, it should, you know, say, okay, which one do you want to jump to? Yeah, list open up the list. You see three of them. You can just click one, right? Yeah. I think you know even in Obsidian, I, the Obsidian folks are pretty clever with the way they develop software. I think they, they do they do a good job, and it's I think it's a hole that they had. Let's let's actually try it real quick. Um, well, you know the other thing. Well, the other thing I like about Obsidian is that you can rip their their Discord service is really helpful. I mean the the users uh, and the I people they are tried that yeah well i had some problems and uh, uh, they were just super nice and i ended up saying well not my you know you know dumb error i didn't read the blah 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 and somebody responded it happens to all of us don't worry about <laughs> <Yeah>. it <laughs> you know so i appreciated you know not getting roasted because i made it yeah, I just didn't read something carefully. So, um, I guess I want to do this. So, at least. It shows me, it does show me two pages to complete it. Um, this is the one at the root and this is the one in people. Uh, and uh, there's a setting in Obsidian. Um, uh, a fair amount of stuff you can actually kind of fix and make it, make it better um, or more, more like you expect maybe is the way to think about it. Um, uh, I could, I could do this uh -huh. and then if I asked to link to this one, it would actually do it right. So the other, the other question, if I just make a bare link to Peter Kaminsky, um, I am actually not sure. I, I think when I was testing before. So this is going to the root, the one in the root, not in, the one in the people directory. Yeah. So I, I think it, it, it was fairly naive when I tried it last time. And they may have gotten more sophisticated and, and do something like, you know, the, close, the thing closest to the root is the one that resolves first or something like that, or I don't know. Um, but, but this, it's, uh, this is to me a bug. I, I agree with you. Um, if I'm hovering over a link that's ambiguous, it, it ought to, not autocomplete to one of them. It should say, hey, there's two of these pages. Which one do you want to go to? Yeah. Um, so now let me strip all that stuff out. That's boring. Well, interesting, but confusing to leave around. Yeah, sorry, we're not in the sandbox. <laughs> we're not in Kansas anymore, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's tempting to fill something in in this page, but I don't know what we would put here. Maybe I should install Obsidian and play with it. There, there is a Linux client, so uh, yeah, there yes, is. yeah. So it's it's a, a nice, uh, nice client. Um, Mark Carranza was at yesterday's Wiki Wednesday uh, with me and Wendy Elford. And yeah, I saw this. Saw his list of notes. Um, he reminded me that I I think VS Code um, is also a reasonable client. I. Well, actually, I don't know if that's true. I have to go look. I know it does Markdown, and I'm pretty sure it does Wikilinks. I'm not sure if it's good at Wikilinks. Um, I can go check because I just reloaded it. A friend of mine was 
tooting its horn because he's using it <laughs> because it's got a markdown lint function and he's yeah. really a stickler about standards and stuff yeah so I feel like there was i think there might have been a lint for um for obsidian that mm -hmm. rings a bell for me mm. which which flavor of markdown is it um <laughs> it's, uh, talking of standards, talking of standards, Bill. <laughs> I, I didn't get that that was a rhetorical question. Oh, it's no, not, no, well, whatever, no. but it's a great question because people are like, yeah. <laughs> you're speaking English. Hello? Which English? <laughs> well, kind of. Kind yeah, right. of yeah, okay. Uh, but uh, I mean, is it is it GitHub flavored Markdown or is it or is it uh, is it like oh, I can't remember. Oh, it's, what it's, did Pete, it's what did we like, call it? Markdown one hundred and one or what? The, yeah, <laughs> had I, a name for it. I, I had numbers. Um, I started Gruber's, doing numbers. The Gruber's for original. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's um, uh, GitHub flavored Markdown. I think is the one that introduced links. Maybe. Um, hmm. um, and for what it's worth, uh, if you're super geeky. Um, GitHub, of course, has a wiki functionality built into it. Um, it's yeah. kind of clunky the way you do it in a different branch and stuff like that. But somebody kind of forked off the code for that wiki engine, and, and it's called Gollum. So it's a well-supported. Oh, that's um, what you were using that time when I was maybe running around with Gollum and Docker. You had it running in yeah, Docker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Gollum with two L's. Yes. Like, yeah. um, so Gollum wiki works pretty well with massive wiki the the most confusing there's two confusing things one of them is i think it uses index.md which is kind of confusing and then the other really confusing thing for me it shouldn't be but um it only knows about files that are are committed in git um it, it is so integrated with git that it uses the git file system and not your computer's file system like obsidian does so if you create a new markdown file, for instance, if you create a new markdown file in in your repo, Obsidian knows about it right away and thinks of it as part of the wiki. Um, Gollum doesn't. It, it won't care about that file until you commit it in Git, which is a whole nother thing. I, it, we, can, we can hide all of the Git complexity um, once we get it installed. <laughs> Um, by the way, uh, by the way, Bill, I used your instructions to set up Windows, um, and I did that for Marcus, uh, Wendy's buddy, um, yesterday, and so and I did redid it, it on the server. Did it work? It worked great. Thanks. Yeah. Well, it's so, good. Um, uh, so we'll get those somewhere in the in the public space soon. Um, anyway, um, uh, Gollum is is pretty good, but. It, I think just weird. what you said, it's like, I don't know how many, I'm going to channel what I think is Simon. I don't know how many hurdles we want to get in front of people before they can just start <laughs> yeah. using yep. something and doing this kind of collaboration we're trying to explore. <laughs> I, totally I mean, agree. I just, you know, and I don't know. We have oh. to. Um, let's play with the linter real quick as long as we're here. What do I do with an app image? If I, I, I can download an app image, but I'm not sure how to actually. I have no it. idea. Okay, right. Um, I, I, I might, well. I, I'll probably, to, probably to change, change the permissions to run and then see if, see if I can run it. Um, Ubuntu is doing all kinds of cool stuff with packaging and stuff, but mostly it, it annoys me. Yeah. <laughs> the new stuff, the old Debian packaging stuff is magic. It's one of the... Yeah, these snap stuff. I mean, there's a lot of debate about snaps, and I, you know, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I was um, once working on a project where they wanted to do some Debian packaging and stuff, and I finally we couldn't do. It. I just said, well, I've learned a lot more about this stuff than I ever wanted to do in my lifetime. And we're just gonna like not. We're not gonna do that for our little update here. <laughs> <laughs> it was, you know, I was like, oh man. Um, offhand, I don't know where to find the winter. 
I've oh, maybe. Working in my so maybe. I, I, yeah, um, if, the, if, if I have time, I'll follow through your instructions and myself quickly. But I've got Obsidian working anyway. That's good. You just it just runs. Uh -huh. just, just runs. Yeah. Control Alt L. Lint the file here. Control Alt. Oh. I don't know, man. Maybe it's perfect. Who knows? Maybe. I feel like I played around with that. It was it was fun. Mm. Um, well, I know there's only three of us here, but it's an invitation to, you know, go grab a hold of naming, chunking, and linking and add things to it. I think uh, we need to you. talk about it. I will we check really it out. need yeah. to talk about it and make it bigger. Um, or, let's link it from the homepage real quick, as long as we're here. Uh, I'm going to put a new section here called topics, maybe, or concepts, or... I, I don't know. And while we're here, um, I also have to make a pedant pedantic note. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Again, with the preferences. Um, no, well, I think it's that's worthy of actually, it's just worthy of a conversation. Yeah, uh, I, because so the reason um, you'll go, go for, for me, uh, uh, I, I, I think I actually probably started saying naming chunking link the first or naming link and chunking, but I put it in this order specifically um, because chunking is the first thing you do. So you, you split things up into chunks. And then you name the chunks, and then you can link between the, the chunks. Conceptually, so this is so this is where you started because this is completely different from where I started. Yeah, but so just in a completely different con conceptual space. Yeah, <laughs> adjacent. So but it's you a good thing write, this is so these conversations. Fun, this you should write that what you just said. You should write out because it makes a difference yeah. in that we're talking. Because when I was yeah talking about naming i'm talking about naming items or ideas or concepts or just like this sentence yeah and chunking is something different than constructing a sentence about an idea to me so i'm in a different mode than you are yeah or, yeah that's, or that's a awesome. different level um thanks chunking for it's a great it's a great cog side thing yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> just remembered it and you've brought it back to my mind yes is that what you mean? Um, yeah, Cogsaw, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What'd you say? What'd you say? No, I was just saying Cogsaw. Uh, cognitive yeah. science. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes, right, right, right. That's where I was actually, when I was looking up chunking, sure. I got to a Cogsaw right webpage there. that said, I'm like, okay, maybe I should, this makes sense, more or less. Um, for, so for what it's worth, to, to reflect on the hour we've had, um, I'm loving the VNC thing. And okay, I got a, is this, is this, am I in it here? I don't know, man. Um, nope. Oh, this is fascinating anyway, VNC. Yes, it's, it's really clever, VNC. Oh, so uh, the other, the other thing about the VNC server, I'm going to, I'm going to. Hang on, I'm trying to, let me. I don't actually type here, guys. Yeah, that's what I want. Because that's another concept we might want to link to. Faceted classification. Yep, yep. Yeah. Um, which is, uh, which is, uh, let me let me actually click on that one. Um, uh. Did I uh, lose your place? Seven. Don't mind. I just no, put no, in. It's okay. No, I was just thinking. I was just thinking. Thinking aside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think class faceted classification is uh, related to zigzag. 
It's, it's a pity you can't have multiple cursors going at the same time, isn't it, on this BNC? What's that? Would be really cool. I, yeah, I, I, I used to appreciate actually the single cursor and the single mouse keyboard mm -hmm. thing, and it's it's a way of keeping the focus of the meeting. Um, yeah. Everybody's thinking and doing the same thing, and you kind of mind meld that way. I, I actually really like it. <laughs> Better even than I, I really like Etherpad or things like that, um, or HackMD or. Even Google Docs, I don't mind, but um, but and and that works better with you when you've got a kind of big heterogeneous group that's not used to you know spending time together. But when you get people spending time together, uh, ch channeling everything through one computer and one one cursor, one mouse, and one keyboard, I I really like it. I mean, yes, there's, there's room for both. There's, it's time yeah, for... totally true. <laughs> and, and actually. So this um, is our step above HackMD. Like, screw that, man. We're just going to go straight to the wiki. You can, you, you can, of course, just bring up a HackMD or Etherpad page here on this thing and mm -hmm, yeah, I know. copy and paste, you know, mm. to and from the wiki. So if you can't get people to do the VNC thing, you could get them to participate on, a, on an Etherpad. Um, but then, okay, but then can you... Integrate well, yeah, HackMD, uh, HackMD has a, um, right. HackMD, HackMD is native markdown, unlike Etherpad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Shoot, man, this is my server and I think it's down. Um, <laughs> I, can, I mean, the, the, the community version is called HedgeDoc now, isn't it? Yeah. HedgeDoc. Yeah, so um, I don't know about Hedge, uh, but but regular HackMD, you can hook up a um, right. one page to a thing in Git, and then you have to commit back and forth to sync the changes. But anyway, so while we're in the browser, um, yeah, I gotta think about on. jumping off in a couple of minutes. Yeah, so. yeah. me too. It's been a lot of fun, folks. Um, yeah, no, I really liked what we tried out. And thanks for the hint about all well, the encouragement to go classify myself in Python. And um, uh, I'll work uh, on, I, I have some native, I, some simple ideas, I think, with a little more reading, I can just try them out and see what I get. And then maybe awesome. we can look at the code and you can make suggestions. Um, so I'm going to, the, the server is not free to run. <laughs> it's not incredibly expensive, but it's expensive enough that- um, Oh, I know, what to, is, right, I know, Windows uh, is like- <laughs> Well, and, and you have to, I'm, it, this is a medium, um, yeah, because sure. if you're running Windows and it's not a medium, <laughs> you're sad. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm gonna turn this on for meetings and turn it off in between. So um, just FYI, uh, it won't work. Um, yeah, when I was trying to run Windows, 10 on Azure, you know, I had some free time. Yeah. It would be like $85 a month. I'm like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> because I could run a Ubuntu server like when we were running that Mattermost thing for like, you know, $9 a month. Yep. Yep. But I was just, and that's from Windows. I'm like, what are you guys doing? It's your own license. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, so I just synced this back to the cloud. Uh, we're all safe again. All right. I can go get all the stuff. Thanks all. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Well, thanks. And uh, see, you around right. the see you around the internet. Good yeah. Time. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. <laughs> Bye.